welcome back to the Fire and Water Cooking Channel. I'm Darren, and today I'm going to cook a spatchcock chicken sous vide and then throw it on the grill. So I got about a five pound chicken here from Costco. They come in two packs. I'm sure if you've ever been to Costco or even Sam's Club, they, their chickens at Costco are pretty big. They come in a two pack. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up and rinse it off and I'll put it on here. I'll show you just so you know how to spatchcock. It's nothing dirty. It's just the way you cut a bird, uh, removing the backbone. But I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that. But first, let me get this out of the package and washed up. Okay, guys, right I got back. my chicken all washed up and ready to go. And it looks pretty good. It's pretty fat. Got some good legs to it. And all I'm going to do is going to take it, turn it upside down, turn it on its stomach. And we're just going to follow the backbone on both sides with my sharp Tau cutlery knife. And you can use kitchen scissors if you want. I just like to use a real sharp knife. I just find it gives me a little bit more. Uh, it goes through a lot easier from what I've found. So you might get a little bit of resistance when you get here by the thigh bone. But um, like I said, you just want to follow that backbone all the way down from the top from the neck. Just give it a little bit of push and cut it right out. And that's pretty much how you spatchcock a chicken. If you want to spread it out a little bit from the back here, let the, put the legs to the front. And then usually you want to cut the breast bone right here in the middle. Just give it a little bit of a push so you can spread it out. You hear that kind of crack? Because you want it to be able to flatten out. When you got it on the grill, you want it to be flat out. And when we're putting it in the vacuum sealer bag. So... I'm going to go ahead and turn it back around. And I usually tuck the uh, wings underneath if I can get them to stay. Sometimes they work. But this is kind of how you want it presented. You just want it flat like that. And what that will do is when you throw it on the grill or even when you're cooking it in the, in the uh, sous vide bath, it will let it cook evenly. So you don't have that big cavity in the middle. Um, taking up space and taking away some of your heat. So we're going to go ahead and season this up, throw it in the vacuum seal bag. So I'll be right back. Okay, and guys, we'll see here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to actually take some uh, running wild lemon pepper seasoning, and I'm going to use that for a coat on the front here. And I'm just going to do a nice liberal sprinkling of it. I don't have to cover it too much since we're sous eating it. A lot of the seasoning is going to get spread out when it's cooking in the bath. But you just want to pat it down pretty good. Get it on there. Do a little on the back. Just get it on the back of the wings. You want to make sure you get some on the legs. Then we're going to take some of my basic chicken seasoning, which um, I'll put a recipe down in the description which is paprika, salt, pepper, garlic, a little uh, Italian seasoning. And we're going to start out, since we got it flipped over already, we're going to start out on the back side. And this is going to give it just a little bit of, little bit of the salt. Paprika is going to give it a little bit of that red color that we like to get on these chickens. So a little brown action going on. And you want to make sure you get it all over the legs. If there's any crevices or anything like that, just go ahead and get it in there. Make sure the wings get covered. And that's about it. We're not going to overdo this. So now that I got it all seasoned up, I took one of my um, expandable vacuum sealer bags. And that's what we're going to put it in. Sometimes you will need the bigger bag like this. Sometimes you can, if you get a smaller chicken, you can use a regular vacuum sealer bag. But I just wanted, since it was a bigger bird, I wanted to make sure I had a big enough bag to fit it in, so I'm using the expandable one. So I'm going to go ahead and get this in the bag, vacuum it up, and then okay, we'll be back. Okay, I got it all vacuumed up. Like I said, I used the bigger, thicker bag. And like I said, always make sure you double seal it, sometimes triple seal it, just to make sure, um, especially on these thick, uh, expandable bags, because sometimes, you know, this can come loose because of these seams but 
I'm going to go ahead and put this in the sous vide bath. We got that already set up. I'm going to do 150 degrees for four hours. And then we're going to go ahead and throw it on the grill to crisp up the skin. So this is all ready to go, all seasoned up. We will put a little bit more seasoning on when it, uh, we pull it out of the bath. But I'm going to go ahead and drop it in. Chicken's about done in the sous vide bath, and I got my fire going. Fire starters just burned out, and I'm going to go ahead and throw a couple chunks of cherry wood in there because I love cherry wood on my poultry. So all we need is a couple chunks because we're not really cooking the chicken. We're just getting it uh, crispy and getting some smoke to it and getting the skin all crisped up and nice brown color to it. The cherry wood's going to actually help it turn a nice dark brown color on the on the skin too. So I'm going to go ahead and I put that on, and we're going to put our heat deflectors in. And in about 15 minutes or so, I'll go ahead and throw the chicken on. So okay, I'm back. back, and I got my chicken out of the sous vide bath. The grill's right up to temp now, and it does look a little a uh, little pale there. But what we're going to do. We're just going to put a little bit more of this chicken rub on and a little bit more of that running wild lemon pepper. Just a little bit. It's already been seasoned pretty good. So we're just going to put a little bit on there. So when we put it back on the grill, we put it on the grill for some uh, crisp up the skin. It has a little flavoring on there. So not a whole lot, just a little bit. That should do it. And I'm going to go ahead and throw it on the grill. minutes and it is nice and juicy I'm just going to kind of cut it away for you so you can see just how juicy and crispy it is it's falling right away from the bone hmm. skin is real crispy I'm going to cut a piece here right here in the breast my dog wants some down there just so you guys can see that how juicy that is. Skin is nice and crispy and golden brown. It's got a nice cherry smoke to it. I'm gonna mm. Mm. Yeah, it's really juicy. Sous vide makes this where you can cook it to the right temperature without drying it out. If I cooked that just on the grill, we wouldn't see all this juice. It would just be really dry so very good like i said you guys got to try it it's best if you do like i said either cut it in pieces or do half chickens or spatchcock it like i did just take the backbone out and flatten it out but um, if you haven't uh, tried sous vide and chicken whole chicken yet you need to try it because it is super juicy like i said mm. very flavorful like I said, the skin is crispy as all get out. But thanks for joining me, guys. Make sure you follow us on Facebook. Mm. Let me swallow. <laughs> and make sure you uh, subscribe and like. Hit the like button. Go ahead and hit the bell for uh, notifications. So when we get a new video out there, you can get notified. And thanks for following us. See you in the next video.